Hey guys, there's this thing called code splitting that's gone really popular lately. And what it is is a technique to help improve the performance of the first time your application loads. So sometimes it can take a while and the reason for that is when you build a React application, it takes all your React code and puts it into one JavaScript file called bundle.js and it can get quite big depending on the number of third-party libraries you install and we can actually look at that so here I have my slack application up and we can inspect it and go into the network tab and if we click on JS we can see all the JavaScript that gets downloaded so if we refresh the page we can actually see this bundle.js so this is our react code right here um, again and it can get quite big so the idea with code splitting is instead of having bundle.js where you install a big boy like this, so this contains your entire React application. Now the reason why code splitting works is because uh, you don't really need your whole React application if you load this first page, right? There's lots of components and libraries that are not in use on this first page. Right, and so the idea with code splitting is you split up your bundle. So you might have bundle one and bundle two, and you load bundle two later when you need it. So instead of loading everything up front, you load it in pieces. And so this really just helps you with the initial load time of your application. So this is something I'd really say only take a look at code splitting if uh, your initial load of your website is you're wanting to speed that up. And uh, one of the reasons for it, and you can see, right, this is, it took 62 milliseconds, or actually, I don't know if it took 390 or 62, I don't know which one, but you can see the time it takes um, for it to download the bundle. And so the, the lower the size you get, the faster it loads the bundle, and the faster your web page loads. So it's something to look at. So with React, there's a really nice library that makes it super easy to add code splitting to your to your application. It's called React Loadable. And uh, there's really, the README is super great. I recommend you come check it out. I don't think I even need to make a video about it because um, it's really great. I'm going to show you guys how I added this to my project and uh, what it looks like. So here is what the after effects of code splitting is. So now I don't just have a bundle.js, but I have this for chunk.js. So it splits things up. So I have downloaded these two. And now if I go to a different page, login, uh, you'll notice I'm now downloading bundle and one dot chunk. So you notice I load different things depending on which page I go to. So I will go back to this page, I'm loading chunk four. So it changes depending on what page I'm on because I need different JavaScript files and functions. So let's take a look at the code that makes this possible. So here is the routes uh, file for me. So I'm using React Router for this. So I just imported React Loadable up here, uh, just like this. And then I made every single one of my components um, asynchronous. So how it works is um, it waits to load your component until it's needed. And then uh, that's when it'll fetch the bundle. So here's me turning, uh, what, five components into async versions of them. So here's how it works. You specify the loader. So this is the component you'd like to load. And so you have a function here and you return an import statement. And this dynamically imports it, right? So it waits to import it until this function is run. And here I just specify my component. So dot slash home, I have my home component over here. And then it takes a second to load, right? Because it's asynchronous. So you can have a component that pops up in the meantime. So I have a loading component here. Uh, but you could have a pretty spinner or anything else um, and you specify that as loading. So then I can now use async home as any other component. So here's async home. And you notice it works just fine with uh, React Apollo um, and GraphQL stuff. So that's nice. So there's really no other code changes needed. So I pretty much just split my application into five different chunks doing this, right? Now it's not necessarily the best way to just split up like this. I just split up by routes, um, but really you can split this up whatever makes sense, right? You kind of want to split up with chunks of code and split up the libraries that you're using. So you can split it up by component, and uh, these are just components, so I can load them anywhere I want. 
and you can actually code split inside of components, right? Because you could just create um, the components. So if we look at, for example, home, um, well, this is not a good example because we have nothing in here. Let's see, view team. Yeah, so we could uh, make sidebar and send message asynchronous and header and message container and load those in chunks as well. But okay, so this is the code that does that. And so now it splits into chunks. Now what I wanna show you guys is actually what this looks like when you build this. So on the right here, this is how, what the build looks like when not using code splitting. So I have one main file, or one main JS file. This is what bundle.js is. Uh, now when you build it with uh, create react native app, it does you know name it differently and give you a little hash here. But you'll notice it's 222 kilobytes. Here over here, this is what it looks like with code splitting. So my main.js right here is uh, 83 kilobytes. Um, so you'll notice immediately that's smaller. But then you have some chunks. And you'll notice the chunks can add up to be more than main.js. Now I haven't done too much uh, code splitting myself, so I don't know if this is because I just split the code poorly. Um, but we are loading, um, it will load it faster because you're loading it in chunks of 100 kilobytes versus uh, 222 kilobytes. So that's something. But for example, um, if we take a look at this home page, notice we um, download bundle in 4.chunk. So I believe 4.chunk is, um, so this is 4.chunk, it's 6 kilobytes. And right here, I believe bundle maps to main. So this would be about 89 kilobytes we download on that page versus 200 if we didn't use code splitting. But, right, there's places where if I go to like slash login, we're now getting bundle in one dot chunk. Um, so now my bundle here, uh, I have 100 and chunk is 80, or not chunk, this main is 83, so about 187 compared to 222, which is still better, but we're getting quite close, right, to what we had before. So it's something to measure and see uh, how much code splitting is actually helping you. Look at the load time. Um, it can help if you have a lot of libraries and do it smartly. This is something uh, I kind of haven't spent too much time uh, with doing just because I feel like my React application is fast enough as it is. I don't feel like the initial load time, I don't know how many seconds are really going to get shaved off with uh, the bundle. Uh, so that's something I'm still deciding whether or not. I'm kind of waiting until the initial load time is you know, at a point where it's it needs to improve and then I'm going to look into code splitting more. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are having trouble and you want to improve that, definitely look at code splitting and uh, see if I improve it. It's a very interesting concept. And uh, I can see where it can make a lot of improvements, especially if you have some big third-party libraries. Uh, I bet this will work really well with like Lodash and stuff. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Check out uh, React Loadable. You saw how easy it was for me to add these. And there's a lot of other um, good functions, or not functions, but options you can pass to Loadable. So do check it out. And uh, that's it for this video.